Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Um, today we're just going to be exploring the asana Padahasasana, um, which is a forward bend. So um, we're going to just explore this one today because it's quite a nice way to take it down a notch um, and see and kind of just explore one posture, see what happens, um, see what comes up for you. Um, if you wanted to do a video beforehand, I'll leave a sun salutation link um, down below because you can do a bit of a dynamic practice if you want to warm up. Um, I'm just doing a very chill version today in my dressing gown with my jammies. Um, feel free to grab some cushions if you want to have some extra props, um, especially if you're feeling a little bit tight. I just thought I'd show you... Um, yeah, a nice alternative to this posture with using some props and kind of going at it from a more yin, chillaxed uh, attitude. So yeah, feel free to put on something snuggly and I will see you guys on the mat. Um, do feel free to give this video a thumbs up um, or subscribe if you've enjoyed it and uh, feel free to comment below. Thank you. So I like to start off my practice a lot of time in the mornings with Padahastasana, um, just because it's a really energizing posture I found, especially if you can do it outside with your bare feet in the soil. It does um, bring our attention and help to balance Muladhara Chakra, which has the element of the earth. Um, so it's a really nice posture to do for that. So, um, if you wanted to as well, you could proceed this with um, more of a dynamic practice, like some sun salutations, um, just to kind of find a little bit more elasticity in the body. Um, as you can see, I am in my jammies, pretty much just doing this first thing in the morning. Um, so I thought I'd show it with you uh, using props instead. So, we're going to bring the hands to the hips. I'm going to bend from the hips. And I'm going to place my hands on my props. So what I'm actually doing is keeping my back nice and straight in this posture. My legs are also straight. I have a maybe a micro bend in my knee just to stop my, knee, my knees from locking, but they are straight. Feet are hip width apart. Now if you want to, so you could put the hands on the ground, you could um, hold onto your big toe with your forefinger and your thumb, or you could place the hand underneath so you have the palms of your hands touching the soles of your feet. Like I say, today I'm going to stay up here, so that's what feels good right now. Trying to keep the back nice and straight. If you've been practicing a while, you can notice the energy coming up through the soles of the feet, telluric energy, the earth energy, washing up through the trunk and out through the hands. So the hands are releasing the waste energy. Bringing the attention to Muladhara Chakra, the root chakra, the level of the perineum on the gross physical body. Color is red, element is earth. Just breathing in through the nose. And out through the
Vajrayana Chakra, the Root Chakra, color is red, the mantra is I am space or I am. Gently bending at the knees, slowly rolling up. Keep an eyes closed, focusing on feeling a little bit more energized in the body. Anything that might pop up. And then, as always, you can lie back in Shavasana. And you could just remain here for another five minutes or longer if you like. Thank you for taking the time out to practice with me today, guys. And even just showing you how even just performing one asana and performing it consciously and with a sense of awareness even that can just bring a little bit of peace and calm to your day and namaste and see you next time just don't get too far and i'll be